Hey guys, Darden here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing Last Day of Spring, which is a continuation of One Night Hot Springs. However, I have already played and got an ending out of this. I recorded it, this about a week ago, and I was planning to upload it, but then I realized my mic was turned off the entire time. And I did get the worst, well, I don't know if it's the worst, but the shortest ending, the earliest ending. So we can go for April 3rd, 4th, 5th, or 6th. This only lasted 20 minutes, so I'm sure this video is going to be longer than 20 minutes. So, uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Monday, April 1st. Today, the new era name was announced. Raiwa comes from Manyushu and is meant to represent a... It is the first time that the era name has been sourced from classical Japanese literature instead of... News, 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 news. So this one focuses around Erika. I won't say what it's about, but focuses around Erika, which I'm actually excited for. Even though I've already played one ending, I want to see what else there is. Ugh, everyone's just talking about the new era name. Who even cares? Not like anything's gonna change. The emperor doesn't even do anything now. What's a new emperor going to do? I wonder what Haru's up to. Did you see the news? There has to be something better on TV. Hmm. Guess not. Oh, that's probably Haru. What news? The new era name. Oh, that. I saw. Stupid, right? Sounds like the name of an anime character. Like we should just get rid of it entirely. So annoying. I don't know. I think it sounds pretty. <laughs> Ugh, of course Haru would like it. I bet Minami likes it too. Such goody two-shoes. Hey, have you met up with Minami lately? Not since we had the picnic at Shinjuku Goi... Sorry if I butchered her pronunciations. Goyen? Why? No reason, just asking. <laughs> the picnic, huh? I haven't really... Uh, I, my voice and like my overall sentence formation today is not good. <laughs> I haven't really talked to Minami since then. Ugh. Why am I watching the news? This is so boring. Wanna hang out later today? And actually, instead of playing this today, I was gonna find a horror game to play because I'm in the mood to play one. But uh, the last Instagram poll I had had this as the wanted game. So I figured that I should get this out of the way first. And then maybe I have something really good plan for next week already something i think you guys will like and then after that maybe a horror game not sure okay dinner with co-workers today since it's my first day oh right hope that's going well right haru's a working adult now it's weird how we're almost the same age but it's just a student and she's like wait i'm just a student and she's like a full-fledged member of society let me know more about your work later you didn't tell me anything about it. It's not that interesting. Just tell me anyway, I wanna know. Okay, after I get home then. I need to get back to O since lunch break is over. Bye. Hmm, what should I do today then? I guess I could ask Manami if she's free. Nah, she's probably hanging out with her boyfriend anyway. But I don't really have anyone else I wanna ask. Ugh, I guess I should just call her. Hi, Erica. Hey, Minami. You free today? Actually, I was just about to call you to ask the same thing. Oh, cool. Do you want to go to... What the... What? Al Alouette? Sure, meet you there in 30? Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay. Hmm, guess she was free after all. I better change out of room clothes before heading out. How are you guys doing today? Because... With all the stuff going on right now, 
I've been like valuing communication a lot and making new friends over the internet. It's been really nice. So, uh, I don't know. I just kind of want to talk to people. So, how are you guys doing today? Leave it in the comments and I'll probably reply. <laughs> hmm, maybe Minami isn't here yet. I guess I could order first. Erica, over here. Huh? Over here, silly. I got us a table. Oh, thanks. I'm just gonna order first then. Actually, I already ordered us an afternoon tea set. I hope you don't mind. Not if you're paying. <laughs> My boyfriend paid, actually. He left just a bit earlier. He left? Mami, you didn't have to tell him to leave. He said he didn't want to get in the way of our girl talk. That's so. Why did you want to meet up anyway? That why did you want to meet up today anyway? Oh right, I wanted to ask you if you were free this weekend. Well, classes don't start until next week, and I'm a boring hermit. So yeah, I'm free. Why? That's great. I want to surprise Haru for her birthday. Sure. When's her birthday? Today. Oh, that's today. You didn't know? I thought she would have told you. You two talk so often lately. Well, she didn't. I'm glad that after the first game, they became good friends. I guess she just didn't think to tell me. I'm sure she just forgot. She's busy with her new job after all. I guess. I was planning to go out with her for dinner today, but she's going out with her co-workers. You were going to have dinner together? Yep, I wanted to give Haru her present on her birthday. I'm planning on just dropping by her house later tonight. You could have... I don't know, invited me or something? Oh, Erica, I'm really sorry. I didn't exclude you on purpose. I just thought that Haru might be a bit tired after her first day, so I kept it to the two of us. I think Haru would really like it if you were there this weekend, though. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. Sorry for being weird. I hope I didn't make you feel left out, Erica. I'm fine. Can we just drop this topic? Are you really okay? I'm fine, Minami. Seriously. If you say so, then. I'm still thinking about what to do for Haru's birthday, though. Could you call me if you have any ideas? Yeah, of course. I also wanted to ask you, are you ready for classes? Oh, I forgot to mention, I've been mentioning it in, I think, all of my videos, in past, like my past four or five videos. I don't think you guys can hear the music in this game, which I apologize for. I haven't found a way to fix it. I think it has something to do with the what I used to record, um, but I'm trying to find a way to fix it so you guys can hear the sound and yeah, okay. Which I should probably fix before I play a horror game because sounds in those games are really important. All right. I also wanted to ask you, are you ready for classes? I'm a bit nervous since we're in our third year now. I spent way more time at the cafe than I planned. I love Minami, but she can go on for hours. Haru's probably done work by now. Might as well send her a message. How was your first day being a real working adult? Also, even though you didn't bother telling me. Happy birthday. Maybe that sounds a bit too salty. It's totally cool that you didn't tell me. I know you have work and all. I didn't think that. I don't think that makes it any better. Ugh, why do I even care? Let's see what's on then. Now let's take a closer look at the calligraphy of... People are still talking about the new era name. Who even cares? Isn't there any real news on? This is ridiculous. The new era isn't even going to start until May. Oh yeah, it's May now. Ooh, I'm recording this on May 6th at 1.30am. <laughs> Ugh, I'm gonna take a nap. Ugh, that was a good nap. Hmm, no reply from Haru yet. Maybe she went straight to dinner with her co-workers without checking her phone. No, the message is on red. She's just ignoring me. I guess she might not have the time to respond though, since she's eating dinner with her co-workers and all. Ugh, why am I being so needy? Me, okay. This isn't like me at all. I should just... Maybe that's Haru. Haru unsent a message. What's Haru playing at? Are you at dinner? If you're busy, you don't have to reply. 
The message is on red again, but still no reply. Haru unsent a message. A sorry, Sam? That's it? Haru's acting weird. Hey, are you okay? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? Okay, something is definitely up. Do you want to talk? And she's leaving me on red again. Okay, I'm gonna call. You can just ignore it if you want. But I'm gonna call. Calling now. No answer. Maybe she's really just... Hi. Hey, how was work? It was okay. Oh, that's great. Are you at dinner with your co-workers then? No. Huh? I didn't go. Why not? Sorry. What? She hung up. What is she? Sorry, I just, I can't talk about it on the phone. Sorry. Okay, just calm down and stop apologizing. What's wrong? God, I hope her coworkers didn't say anything awful. Was it someone at work? No, everyone is really nice. The work is fun too. It's mostly just sitting in front of a computer. Then what's wrong? Maybe I should just go over to her house. No, that would just make it harder for her to talk. It's really stupid. Just tell me. Work was really great. It's just, it was my first day and I had to sign all these forms. Ah, so that's it. I could use my own name for regular work stuff, but for the contract and everything, I had to fill it out with my legal name and my legal gender. I don't know. I just thought, since I'm officially an adult today, I just wanted to do my job with my actual name and gender. But I couldn't. Oh, Haru. Everyone's talking about Raiwa, a new era with a new start. I just wish I could have a new start too. This is sad. <laughs> like I said, it's really stupid. Wow, I sent a lot of messages. I can't believe I was sulking about Haru's birthday earlier. I'm such an idiot. Haru, I'm gonna call you now. Erica, why are you- Haru, are you free this weekend? I think I'm free, but- Okay, we're going out then. Keep the day open. I will, but- Good. Okay? And Haru? Yes? I don't care what it says on your stupid family register. You're Haru Suzuki and you're an absolutely amazing woman. So just don't forget that, okay? I'm gonna hang up now. That was so sweet. I remember I played through that part already, but it was still so sweet. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Can't believe I just said that. I feel like somebody in a stupid TV drama. It's a little cliche, but it's still sweet. Okay, Erica, it's all right. Okay, I need to just cool my head a bit, that's all. Oh wait, Minami. I need to stop her before she goes to Haru's place. Haru's probably in no state to see anybody right now. Hi again, Erica, what is it? Don't give Haru the present tonight. Huh? Uh, I mean, I was just thinking that we could both surprise Haru with presents on the weekend. Oh, that sounds great. I'll wait until we all meet up then. Do you have any ideas about what to do? Actually, about that. Since you arranged your own birthday trip last time, I thought maybe I could do the planning this time. To surprise both of you. Really? That'd be so nice, but it's such short notice and all. It won't be too much trouble for you? It's fine. I want to do it. Okay then, I'll leave it to you, Erica. Just let me know if you want me to prepare anything. Got it, talk to you later. Okay, I just said all of that, but what am I going to do? Whatever, I'll work it out. Haru's feeling down, so I need to cheer her up. And what better way to do that than a surprise birthday party? I'm one that doesn't like surprises much. <laughs> so, hmm. I can start planning the logistics and all tomorrow. For now, it's bedtime. 
Um, I'm pretty sure I've, like, said this before, but the reason why I record so late is because it's one of the only times that my house is quiet. My house is usually loud all the time, and it's, like, the only time I can actually just sit down with no distractions and just talk and not have to hear background noise and have no background noise picked up on my mic. There will still be some sometimes, but still. Okay, Tuesday, April 2nd. Woo, okay. Okay, I have until the weekend to plan everything. I should probably at least ask Karu if there's anything she wants to do, though. Yo, about this weekend. If you could go anywhere, where would you go? Or, like, if you could do anything you wanted, what would you want to do? Are you asking about places to go? Anywhere is fine. Ugh, that's not helpful. I don't know where people usually go on weekends. I don't go out much. Same. I just want to know where you want to go. Like, maybe somewhere you've always wanted to go, but just never got around to. Or something you want to do, but haven't had the chance to. I don't know. I really don't go out much. This isn't getting anywhere. Maybe I could think up some options and then let Haru choose from them. What do people usually do on their birthday? Within a regular uni student's budget. You don't have to apologize. I'll figure something out. You have work soon, right? Talk to you later. Okay, I'll try to think about this some more. Bye. Birthday activities, huh? Let's see what the internet suggests. Hmm, a page titled, What Do Women Want to Do on Their Birthdays? Who do you want to spend it with? More than half chose their boyfriends or husbands. That doesn't really apply here. What do you want your boyfriend or husband to give you? Why does this assume every woman has a boyfriend or a husband? Ugh, this site is awful. It does have a list of popular birthday activities, though. Go to a day spa, visit a theme park, a hotel buffet, a romantic dinner at night. Romantic dinner is out, but the others could work. Honestly, romantic dinner would be quite interesting, though. Please make a game on it. That'd be actually really interesting with these characters. These probably won't be that expensive, either. Manami and I can each chip in half to cover Haru. Let's see what Haru thinks. Spa, theme park, hotel buffet. What do you think? Personally, I'd like to see the theme park, but I already know where this is headed because I've played through this part. Hmm. I guess I've never gone to a spa before. Wanna go then? I don't know. I probably couldn't. Why not? You know... Ah, right. I guess a spa might have the same issues that a hot spring does for transgender people. The reason why I'd rather go to a theme park than a spa in this game is because I feel like a hot spring and a spa are so closely related that it feels repetitive and, I don't know, it's, it just feels repetitive to me. I feel like it's gonna have the same issues that the hot spring has, so it's just gonna be a relapse of the first game. It's just gonna have the same issues as the first game had and just go over them again, but in a slightly different format. That's what I think. I didn't reach an ending far enough to actually go to the spa, which I'm hoping that I will be able to get there. But I mean, the hot springs worked out last time. I'm sure I can figure something out. Don't worry about that. I'll deal with it. Do you want to go to a spa? <laughs> oh, I love these emojis. They're so cute. I'd like to. Awesome, it's a date then. As in, like, a date to go to the spa. Because we set the date for the weekend. So it is a date we set. What am I even saying? I'm making her sound like monotonous on purpose compared to the other ones because I feel like the other ones have similar personalities so they're gonna have similar voices. So she's like the emo monotonous one, which is kind of just my normal voice. Okay, thanks Erica. I really appreciate it. 
Okay, stop being rude, Erica. You have a birthday thing to plan. Let's see what spas there are around here. Hmm, there's actually quite a few. Didn't realize this was such a big thing. Come to think of it, I've never gone to a spa either. Me either. <laughs> they have them sorted out into categories, though. Which category should I look at? Now, what I picked in my first recording of this game was the super relaxing. Because I think that if we went to a reasonable price place, it would be too cheap and it wouldn't be good quality. Like, it, it wouldn't be fun for anyone. And I didn't pick Pam for yourself because I feel like maybe there'd be more high end, stuck up people there that would, I don't know, not accept Haru. So I chose the middle road and I picked super relaxing which I'm going to do here too because I never actually got to the spa and I don't think it affects that much in my ending that I got last time so I'm choosing that. Haru stressed out so a spa with a relaxation package would be good. Maybe massages or saunas or something. Let's see what options there are. This one sounds nice. Spa Cafe Souffle. It looks very girls days out though. What is souffle even supposed to mean here? It looks super relaxing though. It's got baths sourced from natural hot springs and jet baths too. It looks like they even have an area inside where you can apply mud mask. The stone sauna uses aroma oils. That sounds really nice. Okay, okay, I'm just... <laughs> okay, the cafe area looks super cute as well. They have hammocks and bean bags. This, see, I feel like this is just too descriptive. Alright. It looks like they have a lot of magazines and books for you to read. Ooh, they have comics and board games too. They even have massage and treatment options, though you have to pay separately for them. Oh god. Okay, the price is... Actually, it's not that bad. 1400 yen per person, and that includes the stone sauna. I don't know what 1400 yen translates to in American, well, US dollars. So, uh, I'm assuming it's cheap. I don't know. <laughs> if we want to book a room, it's more expensive though, plus 2,000 yen per person. It looks like the only rooms are hotel style rooms. Probably meant for people who want to take a nap afterwards. The massage and treatment options are all pretty expensive though. The cheapest one is 3,000 yen. If I choose this one, maybe I'll just read comics while Manami and Haru get a massage. <laughs> Overall though, this place looks really fun. I bet Haru would enjoy it. I'm good with this one. I think I've decided. Let's go with Spa Cafe Souffle. Looks really cute. I'm sure Haru would love it. I just need to book the date then. I should probably check with my mommy to see what she thinks first though. Let's give her a call. Hi Erica, did you decide on the place for Haru's birthday? I did. There is this cute place called Ca Spa Cafe Souffle. Have you heard of it? Oh, I think I saw it in a magazine. Is it that place with the hammocks? Yeah. I wanted to go ever since seeing the magazine feature. Perfect timing then. It's a little bit for, wait, it's a little bit far since it's out of the prefecture though. Hmm, it's in Chiba, right? I don't think I'll take more than an hour to get there. We'll have to wake up early to go then. I think they have a lot of different options, right? Uh, yeah, they had a long menu for massages and treatments. Do you want to meet up tomorrow to take a look at all the plans? Oh, that'd be really helpful, actually. Are you free? Yep, do you want to meet up at a uh, Alouette? Sure, see you tomorrow then. And I also think this part is somewhat unnecessary, but that's alright. See you. Also, still love the art style. Super minimalistic, simplistic, but cute. I love it. Okay, so I've chosen a location at least. I think that's enough work for today. I guess I can take this time to... A message. Wonder who it is. What's Haru apologizing for? What's up? Hmm, no reply. Haru unsent a message. I want to know what messages she's unsending. What's up with her? Something wrong? It's nothing. Ignore me. I was just thinking. We don't really need to do anything for my birthday. I'm sure it's a lot of hassle. It's nothing special. 
Seriously, what's up with her? Does she not want a birthday party or something? Maybe I should call it off? Okay, so this is where I messed up last time. I wanted to respect her decision to not have a birthday party because sometimes on my birthday, I don't really want one either. So, I said, tell Haru it's, n wait, oh wait, no, it's the next choice. I said this one, so I'm doing this one. Okay, it's Haru's birthday, of course we should do something. It'd be really weird if we didn't. Nothing special. It's your birthday. That's totally special. Oh wait, no, I did pick this one. It happens every year, though. Yeah, that's how birthdays work, Haru. You've had 19 already. You should know the drill. I know, but... I just don't usually do much for my birthday. Just dinner with Manami. Maybe Haru just doesn't want to make a big event out of it. Since it's always been just her and Nanami before. Maybe it would be better to call this off. Now, this is the part that I messed up in. Also, that recording might be a little bit messed up. Because I, I paused my recording like three times. Because my family has been like walking down the hallway and stuff. Even though it's incredibly late. But, so if that messed up, sorry. So, this is where I messed up. I said this one because I wanted to respect her choices, but no, I guess I have to go with this one so I don't get that ending that I already had. Nah, it's still Haru's birthday after all. We should do something a bit more than just dinner. Well, this year you can do something different. I mean, you turned 22. You're an adult now. You're, that's worth celebrating. It really isn't too much trouble. It's totally fine, Haru. Okay, then. Anyway, that's enough work for today. I need to catch up on all the series I'm watching before school starts again. Do 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 Yay! Now, I am officially past that first ending I got. Wednesday, April 3rd. Now, today I can actually mess up and get the ending here, which I'm hoping not to do, but from now on, if I get any ending, I'm ending the video there. I'm not gonna try and get another ending unless another video want, like if you want me to record another video playing this game, but I'm gonna keep the ending I get. Manami is taking forever. Erica, I got us some water. Uh, thanks. This bot cafe really does look cute though. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to go myself. Thanks for looking through the massage and treatment menu with me. No problem. I think it'd be fun to play some of the board games, too. They have so many that I don't know. Manami, you've probably only ever played, like, Life and Monopoly. Both are decent games. However, I stand by the fact, yes, the fact, that Clue is 100% the best board game. It is. And everyone argues with me, no, it's Monopoly. Nope, mm -mm, it's Clue. It is Clue. And someone even tried arguing Yahtzee. Uh-uh, get, get, get that out of here. No Yahtzee. Um, only Clue. <laughs> I don't think I've played Monopoly, actually. I have playing cards at home, though. Figures. We're definitely not playing Monopoly this weekend, though. I'll let you choose what to play. Do you want a book? Sorry, my phone's vibrating. I think someone's calling me. You can get that. Sorry, I'll be right back. That's probably her boyfriend calling again. I swear, he calls her all the time. It's sweet of him, I guess. Sorry, Erica. Could you make the booking yourself? I completely forgot that my boyfriend wanted to meet up today. I can cancel if you want me to, though. No, it's fine. You can go meet up with your boyfriend. I can handle things from here. Call me if you need anything, okay? Okay, I guess I should make the booking then. What was the phone number again? Found it. Let's give them a call. Hello, this is Spot Cafe Souffle. How may I help you? Hi, I'd like to make a reservation for three. While our rooms can be booked for day use, there are only two beds per room. How many rooms would you like to book? Just the one. One room then? Would you like to make observation reservations for massages or treatments? Please note that we only offer massages and treatments for women. Oh no. Oh, about that. One of us is a transgender one, but she can still get the treatment? 
Excuse me, would you please repeat that? One of us is a transgender woman, but can she still get the treatment? Please let me check with the person in charge. Okay. I'm sorry for the wait. Unfortunately, our staff are not trained to do massages or treatments on transgender women. Not trained? What are you on about? However, you may still enjoy our other facilities. We do request that guests use the facilities designated for their legal gender. But would you like to make your reservation? No, it's fine, thanks. <laughs> this place is no-go then. That's sad. Not trained? What? Excuse me? What? Not trained? Alright. <laughs> that makes me a little bit mad, I'm being honest. Whatever, there are other options. Let's try calling some other places. So even the one I picked didn't matter, right? I sincerely apologize, but... Unfortunately, we cannot... Oh no, this is sad. Ugh, I can't believe it. None of these places are okay with all three of us just going together. Why is everyone just so awful? What should I do? I told Haru I'd deal with it, but I... I... Oh, it's a message from Haru. Is the planning going okay? Should I tell her? No. Because then she's gonna be like, Oh, but I had so much trouble. No, 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 no. Definitely not. No, no, no. No, it just make her sad. Exactly. Mm -mm, she doesn't need that. She doesn't need to hear about this. Everything's going great. It's gonna be awesome. I mean, are there any problems, though? But what can I do, really? Nothing is going great at all. No, I can't give up yet. I'll look at the site again and check out some other places. But I'll do that tomorrow. I think I need a break. Already on to the next day? Dang, Thursday, April 4th. We are speeding through this. We are going to get the best ending. Nothing. I probably called every single listing in the Tokyo area, but nothing. If I hear one more person say they only let people use services for their legal gender, I'll... I'll... Like, there's anything I can do. I told Haru I'd work things out like I could be her hero or something. I'm so naive. I really don't want to disappoint Haru, though. What should I do? Oh, that's Minami. I should tell her that we need to change our plans, but I really don't want to. I should at least pick up the phone, though. Hey, Minami. Hi, Erica. I'm sorry I had to leave early yesterday. Did you make the reservation? About that? It didn't work out. What didn't work out? The reservation. Why not? Haru's gender. Maybe they just didn't understand. I can go talk to them in person. Don't, Minami. I called dozens of places today and I got the same answer from everyone. But I think we probably should plan something else. Well, I'm sure Haru wouldn't mind. Yeah, but that makes it worse. I just wanted to do something special for her birthday. Make like a home spa thing. The cheap ones, I don't know. Since she had a rough time at her first day at work in oil. All, oh, blah, blah, not oil. I think that'd be cute. Just make a home spa and it'd be very endearing, I think. She did then. She didn't talk to me about it. Yeah, she probably didn't want to worry you. She seemed so happy when I suggested we go to a spa. Erica, I'll call you back when I figure something out. I really don't want to tell Haru that the spa thing didn't work out. I don't know why people care so much anyway. Why is it so hard to find a spa that would just let three women go together? Here I am complaining about this one thing, though. When Haru must go through this every single day. She already said that she probably wouldn't be able to go when I first asked. She already knew how everyone would respond. But I really don't want to prove her right. Isn't there any way Haru can enjoy a spa on her birthday? I guess I can look up spa alternatives on my phone. Instead of a spa, I'll go to the hot springs to relax. That's just going to have the exact same problems. Come to think of it, the staff at the Ryokin Minami booked were really accommodating. I guess that isn't the norm, though. The Super Sento is a good, cheap alternative to... Nope, the Super Sento is out, too. Ugh, isn't there anything at all? If you can't afford a spa, try making your spa at home. Yes! Yes, let's go. Let's do this. Woo. I guessed it. Let's go. 
Huh? A spa at home? You can recreate a spa experience in your own home. Oh, this actually sounds okay. See, now, this is what makes the game not repetitive, which I was waiting for. So, woo. Buy spa goods and use them whenever you want at home. Here are some treatments you can do yourself. Hmm, that's double, doable, not double. This too. This isn't quite the same as a spa, but this might not be too bad. Let's see what Minami thinks. Erica? Minami, let's make our own spa. Huh? I mean, we can just do a home spa. Oh, that would work. Instead of a girl's day out, we can do a girl's day in. A girl's day in. I like the sound of that. I don't know how to do massages or that kind of stuff, but I have face masks at home. I can go shopping for some stuff too. That sounds good. I'll check what stuff I have at home. We need a place to do this though. I guess my place is okay, though it's a bit cramped. Oh, I've never been to your place before. This is so exciting. Okay, I'm gonna go check what I can bring. I should probably also tell Haru about the change in plans. Good thing I didn't tell her I decided on a place at least since it didn't work out. How should I tell her though? Hmm. I'm just gonna say don't tell her the details. She doesn't even know what happened. I'll just tell her that I decided a home spot would be more fun. Yo, hey Haru. Thought about it and rather than going out to some random place, I thought this would be more fun. Spa day at my place. What do you think? The spam. Wait, she's at work. She probably can't reply now. Sorry for the spam. Get back to me after work. If we're holding Haru's birthday thing here, I'm going to have to clean up a bit. Guess now's as good a time as any to get in some spring cleaning. Spring, haha. <laughs> spring, spring, spring. In title, haha. <laughs> Ugh, this place is filthy. Who is just leaving their dirty clothes in the, on the floor? Oh right, that'd be me. Yeah. Why do I do this to myself? Ugh, this place looks so organized. I can mess it up again after Haru's birthday thing though. Who wants to mess up their room intentionally? Ah, uh, that's probably Haru. Is it really okay? I don't want you to go to that much trouble. You'll have to prep at home and everything. It means so we should just do something else. Hmm, Haru doesn't seem really excited. I guess a home spa isn't really what she had been expecting though. Maybe we should do something else? No, 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 no. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Haru's just being Haru and trying not to be a bother. It's really no trouble at all. I've never really done a spa before either, so it'll be fun to do a test run at home. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry. I've got it handled. Okay, but let me know if you change your mind. I won't. I have to clean my apartment for this. That's a really big deal, just so you know. Thanks. It's been a long time since I've gone to a friend's home. Don't expect much. My whole apartment is like half the size of the mommy's room. That's fine. I'm looking forward to it. I'll send you my address later. Still need to prep, though. Bye. Sometimes I think Haru messages more in stamps than in, like, actual, ooh, my voice, words. Also, that was my phone vibrating, so I should probably put it somewhere else. I think this room is acceptable enough to show to other people now, though. I just need to buy stuff tomorrow, and then everything should be good. Good job, me. I think I've earned myself the right to watch another few episodes. Next day, we're gonna get the best ending in this game. How did I not do this first run? Friday, April 5th. I love the simplicity. I definitely watched too many episodes. I'm so sleepy. Ugh, what do I need to buy again? Let's check the list I made this morning. Scented candles, herb tea, and cups since I only own like one mug. Also salt scrub or something fancy like that. I think I should be able to get everything here. Yeah, it has a good variety. Let's start looking around then. Ooh. I don't know how many candles we'll need. I guess I'll just buy a set. Hmm, I probably need something to light the candles with too. 
The only thing I could possibly use at home is my gas stove, and that's probably a bad idea. They have a lot of weird teas. I bet most of these taste awful, though. This one has pictures of flowers on it. That's very spa-like, I guess. In the basket it goes. These glass cups look cute, too, so I'll just grab these. Why do you need to narrate the stuff you're buying? Oh, so there are sugar scrubs and salt scrubs. No idea which is better, though. The sugar one is peppermint scented. Nice. The salt one has coconut oil, though, which also sounds nice. I guess I'll just buy one of each. Okay, candles, tea, cups, and a salt scrub. That's everything on the list. This is probably going to make for a pretty weak spa day, though. Maybe I should get something extra. Nami said she's bringing face masks, so something other than that. What else should I get? I think that nail polish would be fun. Cucumber's boring. It's just putting them on your eyes. Boring, boring, boring. Face roller? Nah. Nail polish. I don't really use nail polish myself, but manicures feel like a very spa thing to do. What colors would be good, though? Now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever seen Haru with nail polish on. I'll get some more standard colors, then. I don't think we need anything else. I should call Minami just to check, though. Hi, Erica. I just put in the order for the cake. The cake? Oh, right. Haru's birthday cake. Thanks. I'll bring it over tomorrow morning, and then we can set everything up. We should probably think of, of up, a, up, a, up a schedule. Minami, we're doing a spa day, not a school field trip. But things will go more smoothly if we have a schedule. Fine, if it'll make you happier. What time do you want to come over? Hmm, if Hara's coming over in the afternoon, I should get there in the morning. Since there's only the one bathroom, we'll... While Hara's using the salt scrub, we can prepare the cake. Oh, like a surprise sort of thing. Nice. Then after we eat the cake, we can give Haru her birthday presents. Right, that sounds... Oh. Um, I totally forgot to get Haru a present. Oh, well, you did all this prep for the spa day. That's like a present already. Yeah, but it'll be weird if you have a present for her and I don't. Should I not give my present then? No, that's not what I... Uh, I can't believe I forgot. That schedule is perfect, Nami, but I'll call you back later. I need to think of something for Haru's present. Okay, let's get her a present. I'm such an idiot. How could I forget Haru's birthday present? What would Haru want for her birthday, though? I guess I know what Haru would want, but it's not something I can just buy in a store. I mean, I couldn't even get her a day at the spa. Yeah, no. Now's not really the time for me to milk. Let's think of a birthday present for Haru. Hmm. Let's think. There's no point in getting a present that Haru could buy herself. But is there something she can't get that I can actually get her? Ugh, I don't know. Maybe the internet can help me again. Present for transgender woman. Final result, how about a wallet for your cool transgender friend? <laughs> Second, taking a look at real woman ex woman love. Third, the problem with saying it's discrimination to keep people with penises out of the women's baths. I didn't expect the word penises to be thrown out in this game. Like, only the first result has anything to do with presents. And the next results are all just a lot. Two results about what washrooms transgender people should be using. One about what pronouns you should use to talk to transgender people. I just wanted some present ideas. Thanks for nothing, internet. I guess I just have to figure something out on my own. Huh, a message from Haru. I think I might have a cold. I don't want you to get- I don't want to get you or Manami sick. Maybe we should just cancel the spa day. Haru's sick? I hope her new job isn't tiring her out too much. If it's just a cold, it should be okay, though. A spa day would probably actually be some good rest. If Haru would rather cancel, though, Ask her how bad it is. I'm not canceling it. I'm getting the best ending. If Haru's cold isn't too bad, it, it'd probably be better for her to get out anyway. Is your cold really bad? No, I just feel a little sick. Then a spa day is the perfect thing to make you feel better. A good soak in a bath should do you good too. I'll go buy some fruit or something too. Vitamin C should help. Is there anything you like to eat when you're sick? Sweet things, I guess? Okay, I'll buy some sweet snacks. 
Actually, maybe I could ask Carver what she wants for her birthday. By the way, is there anything you want for your birthday? Oh, you don't have to give me anything. Just answer the question harder. I don't know. I don't really want anything. Um, and I, uh, I have a, an ID with my real name and gender on it, maybe? Oh, Haru. <laughs> I know that's not what you meant. Sorry. I made things weird, didn't I? Sorry, just ignore me. Bye. An ID, huh? I can't really do anything about that without, I don't know, petitioning the government. And it's not something one little person like me can change. Especially not in a day. I guess I'll just do what I can. Okay, the last day. Saturday, April 6th. No idea how long I've been recording. Haru's birthday party. We finally got there, boys. That's really cool. Well, art thing. Okay. Okay, this looks pretty good. Sure, it's no hotel spa, but it'll do. I scattered some rose petals in the bathroom, and it looks really cute. I set up the oil diffuser, too. Thanks, Manami. And thank your mom for me, too. It's really nice of her to let us use all this. She said it's all stuff she just had lying around. When I told her we were doing a spa day with Haru, she just gave me all this. She said it helped create the atmosphere. Why does she have canvas paintings lying around the house anyway? She collects art. Manami, this better not be some really expensive art thing. To be honest, I don't know. Remind me to be really careful when taking that down. You really don't have to worry. Oh, my phone's vibrating. It's Haru. Sorry, do you mind if I take this? No, go ahead. Hi, Haru, how are you? Oh, are you okay? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? I can go over if you... If you're sure, I'll tell her, don't worry. Did something happen? Haru says she can't make it today. She said she's not feeling well. Uh, did she say she thought that she did say she had a that uh, oh my god, okay. Ah, uh, she did say she thought she had a cold yesterday. I guess it got worse. I don't think that's it. Haru does this a lot. Huh? We'll have arranged to meet up on a day. Then suddenly she'll be sick or she'll have some other thing come up. I think she gets anxious about meeting people sometimes. Even you? You've known her forever. Yes, but I think that makes it worse sometimes. But why would... I've known Haru since... Before... Before what? Oh. She still felt like she had to hide who she was back then. Even with me. So even now I think... It can be hard for Haru to be completely honest with me. I guess that's one reason, yeah. One reason? Uh, just ignore me. Could you talk to Haru for me? Huh? I think she's more honest with you than with me. I'll talk to her. Thank you, Erica. I'm going to head back then. See you, Minami. See you, Erica. Oh, that's sad. I should message Haru. Hey. What should I even say? Minami thinks you're lying about being sick. Yeah, that'd go over well. Haru, oh, I just want to check, but... Is there some reason you don't want to do a spa day? Guess all I can do is wait for a reply. Sorry, I just can't. She just can't. Is it okay if I call? Okay, then. What did Nami tell you? She just said that you weren't feeling well. Is that really all? I'm sorry if this wasn't something you wanted. Did you want to do something else for your birthday? What? No, that's not... I just... It's not your fault, Erica. It's not Minami's fault, either. It's just me. It's always me. Haru? I'm sorry, I just couldn't go. I'm sorry. You two did all this for me, and I... I just ruined everything. Haru, calm down. It's fine. It's fine, okay? Haru, I just want to know what's wrong. We can scrap the spa day, okay? But could you come over so we can talk? I'm worried about you. Is Manami there? She left earlier. Okay. I'll come over soon. Okay, we actually get to talk to Haru in person in this game. 
I guess all I can do is wait then. No point just sitting here though. Maybe I'll eat something. Oh, Harvey's birthday cake is still in the fridge. On second thought, I'm not really that hungry. That's probably Haru at the door. The door's open. Oh, she looks so cute. <laughs> she looks so cute. Okay. Hi, Erica. Hey, you don't have to look so down. It's okay. I'm really sorry. Why? You did all this for me and I... Hey, it's okay. If it's too hard to talk, we can just not do that. I bought snacks. You can have snacks. I have herb tea too. Thanks, Erica. Huh. I feel a bit better now. Why? I didn't do anything. I don't know. I wish I weren't like this. Like what? I really was looking forward to the spa day with you two. I was. But for some reason this whole week... My head just kept telling me to find a way out of it. I just knew it was going to go badly. At first I thought it would be nice to go to a spa, but then I remembered there was no way I'd be able to go to a spa. Then when you said you'd change plans to a home spa, at first I felt relieved since it would be in a private place. But then I got all anxious about it again. So I told Nanami I was sick and couldn't go. Haru, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Is that why you kept messaging this week? Asking me if I wanted to cancel. Yeah. I just wasn't sure I was ready for a spa. But you were okay with the Ryokan, right? In the end, I was, but... At the Ryokan, I only went into the bath with you, Erica. This time, Anami would be here too, and... I didn't know what we were going to do for the spa. Sometimes you take baths at spas, right? I just didn't want her to see me when my body doesn't look the way I feel like it should look. Right, Nanami. I know, it's stupid. Nanami's known me forever. She knows that I haven't, that I haven't had surgery. But I still, it's Nanami, so I just, Haru, that's not stupid at all. Erica, thank you for telling me, Haru. This is so nice. I know I haven't, like, talked and, like, gave commentary of my own, but I'm just, like, appreciating this because this is so nice and heartfelt and emotional. I love it. It means a lot to me. Let's call Minami later and figure out something else to do for your birthday, okay? Okay. Oh, look at all the blush. Look at the little blush. That's so cute. Thanks, Erica. No problem. You know, we can just skip all the bath stuff. Huh? I still have herb tea and face masks and stuff. You've come all the way here. Want to try it out? I've never done any of the spa stuff before either. And I feel really silly just doing it by myself. Want to have a mini spa day? Just the two of us? I'd like that. Aw, it's so cute. I love it so much. Okay, I'm sorry if I get any on your skin, okay? I don't really paint nails much. Oh yay! It's okay. I'm sure you'll do a better job than I can. Is this color okay? I don't really know what color would be good. Anything you think would be good is fine. Okay, then I'm going to go with this color. What do you think? It's cute. You like it then? I do. I've never painted my nails before. I don't usually do my nails either. It's so much work and they just get chipped. I probably won't use this again, so if you want, you can keep this manicure set. Thanks, Erica. I'll try painting my nails myself sometime. Oh yay, that's so cute. Uh, I feel refreshed. Yeah, that was fun. You feeling a bit better now? Yeah. Thanks, Erica. Don't worry about it. Sorry it's not as fancy as a real spa, though. I guess the spas you contacted didn't work out then. Uh, I have to be honest now. Yeah, sorry. Why are you apologize? Wait, why are you apologizing? It's not like it's your fault. I just... I don't blame them. Legally, they could get into trouble if they let me in. 
But Haru, you're legally not a woman. But that's just how it is. I probably wouldn't have been comfortable going to a spa anyway. I mean, the staff wouldn't have been comfortable with my body. I'm not even comfortable with my body. So it's really a good thing that it didn't work out. Haru, this was really fun though, Erica. Thank you for preparing everything. I just wish I could have done more. I didn't think that there would be any issues making a booking with the spa. I didn't realize it. I just didn't get it. Don't blame yourself, Erica. I'm happy you tried, even if I didn't think, even if I did, even if I did think it would work. How are you not just angry all the time? I'd be furious with everything if I were you. You get used to it. I know some people who can get angry at every bad thing that happens to them. And they fight to make things better. I'm really thankful for everything they do. But it just gets to be so much. And I can't do it. Not all the time. Haru. I mean, all over the news, people are talking about Raiwa, the new era. They're talking about the era changing and what that might change for everyone. But nothing's changing for me. Nothing. I mean, the Supreme Court upheld the law that transgender people need to be sterilized to change their legal gender. Oh, I hate that. That was just this January. Sure, they said this law might become outdated as society changes, but are they changing the law? No. So I can't change my legal gender. And even if I did, I still wouldn't be able to get married to, to the person I love. So what if a couple of war, war, wards, words, words or wards? I'll say wards. Have something similar to marriage for gay couples now. They're only valid in those words. Or these words. They're not really recognized as marriages. Everywhere I go, I feel like I'm being turned away. I can't go to women's spaces because I'm not legally a woman. But I can't go to men's spaces because they obviously don't belong there either. It just makes me too anxious to even, to even go on the spa trip with my friends. Because society keeps telling me that I'm not, that I'm not really a woman. But then what the hell am I supposed to be? Aw, oh, she's tearing up. Oh, I want to hug her. I want to hug her so bad. I just want to give her a big old hug and I want to pat her back and I want to tell her everything's going to be okay. And then I want to sit down and watch like a really dumb romantic comedy and laugh with her and like, and have a sleepover. And then like, this just makes me so sad. <laughs> Cause I, uh, like I'm tearing up. Because I feel so bad. Like, people shouldn't have to go through this. They shouldn't. No matter what gender they are. They shouldn't have to go through this type of thing. They shouldn't. If... Uh, it's, it, it pisses me off, honestly. Alright. I'm just gonna... Before I bed, I'm just gonna get back into the game. Alright. Haru, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I just want to live my life like everyone else, but I'm not even allowed that. Haru, sorry. I'm going to hold your hand now. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay. Oh my god, this is so sweet. Okay. What? Oh, my heart. My heart. My heart. My heart can't take this. I cry over puppies. Like, sorry. Haru, I'm so stupid. I thought I understood how hard it was, but I didn't, not even close. Every time I thought I'd got what it was like to be transgendered, I didn't get it at all. For your birthday, I thought I could help and make things better, but I couldn't. I'm so sorry. Erica, you've already done more than enough. I couldn't even book a spa for your birthday. After you specifically said you'd like to go to one. No, I mean, when we first met, I was a bit scared of you. Scared? You were really blunt and asked a lot of questions. And you made me feel really uncomfortable, to be honest. But when you met me, you weren't disturbed or disgusted. 
even though you're a bit clumsy about it sometimes. You've always tried your best to support me. Sometimes it doesn't work out. That's okay. I'm used to it. But it means so much to me to have even just one more person who just accepts me as who, was, as who I am. Haru. Erica, would you look at me? Please. Oh, you're so cute. Thank you for being my friend. Haru? I can't... <laughs> what? What? I kind of want to kiss you right now. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, my heart and Erica's blushing. Oh, this is... This is, they had us in the first half, not gonna lie. This is the plot twist of the century. What? I, I don't know. Sorry, that just slipped out of my mouth. I don't know what I'm saying. Somebody please shut me up right now. Do you want snacks? I have snacks. I'm going to go get snacks. <laughs> Erica, wait. <laughs> Did you mean that? Oh, she... She did mean that. She did. I don't know. I think I did. Hey, Erica. You know I like... You like the Nami, I know. We've had this conversation before. But you still mean what you said? I don't know, okay? I just... I only know what I want. <laughs> what, about, what I do know is... I was kind of hurt when I heard about your birthday from a Nami. And not from you. And when you said that you didn't want Manami to see you like you are now, I was kind of didn't like it. And when you smiled at me earlier, I felt really happy. So I just spoke without thinking. Hey, Erica, I know you like Manami. You can just like ignore everything I said just now. This, oh my god, that hurt for Erica right now, my heart. But you mean all of what you said? Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, she's crying. What? Why are you crying? I just, I never thought somebody could actually like me that way. Oh, my heart. Oh my God. I'm so broken in so many ways. So why would anyone ever be attracted to me? Oh my God. The feels and somewhat the right relatability damn my god this game is deep and i'm loving it more and more every time that sounds very wrong don't don't sound clip that don't don't do that okay i'm just gonna continue <laughs> haru you're not broken i know but it feels that way sometimes so thank you, Erica. You're welcome, I guess. But I'm sorry. I like Minami. I know that. You can stop saying it. Like I said, I don't really know what I want, okay? So we can just keep being friends like before? Do you want to? Of course I do. Then I'd like that too. Okay, glad that's settled. Oh right, I still have to give you your birthday present. Be right back. Here, happy birthday, Haru. What is it? The whole point of wrapping a present is so that you can unwrap it and find out. Is it okay if I unwrap it here? Yeah, go ahead. What did she get her? This is very taped. I'm not good at this kind of stuff, okay? <laughs> no, I didn't mean... I was just making a comment. Just open the present already. <gasps> what? What? So I know it's not actually usable, since it's not the real thing. It's a fake ID, that's actually really endearing. But I thought maybe you like having an ID card with your actual name and gender on it. Just to have, I guess. I don't know, this is probably really stupid. I love it, Erica. Thank you. Oh, my heart. This game has made my heart like it's so nice like it's so nice 
This is really, okay. It should be pretty durable. And I got it printed at a shop. I'll keep it in my wallet. I have a slot for photo ID in it, but I never wanted to put my ID in there. But this ID card is okay. I'm glad you like it. Erica, I, I'm really happy that we're friends. <laughs> no, if you guys heard that, but <laughs> self voicing was on, and I did not. I accidentally turned it on, and it was actually really funny, and I didn't expect it. Me too. So, did you want to eat some snacks? You said you like sweet things, right? What'd you get? Well, I actually just got a huge bag of Mekon. I don't know what Mekon is. And she said you were getting a cold and all. Uh, you'll help me finish it, right? Vitamin C is good for colds. Hey, you can't expect me to finish it all by myself. I bought these for you, so take responsibility. But I don't really like Mekon. What? The peel always gets under my fingernails. What are you, some little kid? I'll peel them for you, okay? So you better eat them. Fine. But you have to eat some too. Like, I'd let you eat all of them. Fruit aren't cheap, okay? If you're not going to help me peel, at least pour some herb tea for both of us. Oh, that April 6th, a day with friends. That's the ending we got. A day with friends. Loved it. Yes, good job to NPC, KC, and SD Hizumi. Both are amazing. Now, I know that if I go to gallery and I click this, there's going to be an afterwards. So what happened after April 6th? I think it's only text-based. Thanks for talking to Minami for me. I wasn't sure I'd be able to. No problem. Minami said to call her when you feel better, though. I will. Also, I wanted to say thank you again. What for? For what you said earlier. It really does mean a lot to me. I'm sorry I can't return your feelings. It's cool. I still like you as a friend. Thanks, Erica. Maybe not right away, but I want to tell Manami my feelings, too. I know how she'll respond, but you gave me the courage to be honest. Aww. So thanks again. No problem. I'll treat you to some ice cream after. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Ah, uh, that was the official end of that so i think i got the best ending it was really good it was really heartfelt it was really emotional and i absolutely loved it there is one more game after this called called uh right here in the top right corner spring leaves no flowers which i'm also going to play maybe not immediately because i have a substan well i have two substantial series planned that i think you guys will like on uh minecraft so i think that'll be cool and yeah that game was amazing i don't know if i like i think i liked i think i liked this one more than the first one weirdly in the in like the first quarter of it i don't think i would have thought that i would like it more but i don't know that last ending emotional heartfelt part that i didn't feel in the first game really made up for it so yeah that's about all i have to say for this game amazing so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye! <laughs>